Welcome back to Statistics on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a box and whisker plot using uh, the data analysis tool pack software on Microsoft Excel. If you do this by hand, it's going to be very tedious and difficult, but with this method, it's actually very, very quick. I will preface this by saying that I use the Mac version of Microsoft Excel, so if you're using the window, a Windows computer, it's going to differ very, very slightly, but for all intents and purposes, it's the same. And second, uh, make sure that you download the data analysis tool pack. While we're not actually going to use the data analysis, I believe for some versions the uh, box and whisker plot in the charts actually comes with that and is not actually available unless you download that tool pack. So if you need help with that, go watch my video in this playlist at the very start that where I show you actually how to download that tool pack. All right, so let's jump into making a box and whisker plot. Now, if you did this by hand, uh, you would have to order every single one of these from least to greatest. Um, and it's kind of a pain. You can sort these. There is a function under data where you can sort these, but actually the nice thing about the uh, tool pack download is the box and whisker plot option there, you don't actually have to have these in order. Now I know I have this first group in order, but notice these other two groups are not, and that actually doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight all the data. So every piece of data, including these labels, that's actually fine to include those. Highlight everything. And I'm gonna to go to insert, and once I'm here, I see all these options for the various charts that I can create. This one in the middle that says statistical, that's the one I wanna click. And you'll see down here, I have a box and whisker plot option. I'm gonna click that. And there you have it. That's literally, literally all there is to it. Now, obviously we can do some other things with this, like create a title. We should really have axes here, both vertical and horizontal, okay? But let's just go over a few kind of uh, technical things about the box and whisker plot. Remember what bo the box and whiskers on each one correspond to, okay? So remember, the box, this up here right here, the top part of it, this is your third quartile, okay? The bottom edge of the box, this limit down here, is your first quartile. And then the line in the center, which is, notice it's not necessarily right in the middle of the box, that's your median, that's the median of the data, that's the middle point, okay? The whiskers just extend to the highest and lowest observation. Now, in, all, in this first group, the lowest observation is one, which is why it extends down to one here, and the highest observation is nine, which is in accordance with what I see right here, okay? All of the lowest in each of these groups are one. Notice in the second group, the highest is eight, though, and that is the highest that I see in this group. So. Basically, what the box and whisker plot shows you is the range of the data, but the box only encompasses the interquartile range from Q1 to Q3, which also happens to be 50% of the whole data. The other 50% is, is between the edges of the box and the whisker, 25% in each of these regions. Okay? And then the other thing, remember, is that the X right here in each of these is actually the mean of the data, the average, okay? Now, one other thing about the box and whisker plots that's actually very useful to think about is whether or not you generate a, one with the boxes being horizontal or vertical as they are here. Here they're vertical. And what's very useful to do is actually to have the, the display of the chart a little taller like it is here because it allows you to see a little bit more resolution between where the median line is and the mean. For example, let me show you what happens if I flatten this a little too much. It's kind of hard to see, like on this blue one especially, where the X is relative to the median. And so it's better when you have vertical boxes to make the whole chart more vertical, okay? While well, we're at it, let me just remind you how to add the vertical titles and the horizontal titles. So once we have the chart selected, go to Add Chart Element. Go to Axis Titles, let's put in a primary horizontal. We see it go down here, right here. We can rename that by double clicking on it. Also go back to Add Chart Element, add the vertical one, and we see it appear right there, and so on and so forth. And we can even include a legend. Probably on this one, I would assume put it on the right side, and so on and so forth, okay? So this is how you construct a box and whisker plot in the newest version of Microsoft Excel with the Data Analysis Tool Pack. Hopefully this gave you some intuition on how to do it. Hopefully you learned something. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.